The Jane Street Community Garden in West End, Brisbane is a not-for-profit initiative which provides gardening space to inner city people, fosters community spirit and educates volunteers in organic and sustainable methods of growing. With over 260 different varieties of edible and organic plants and just a small amount of government funding, the members of this inner city sanctuary have managed to create a domino effect in their community. In their own small way, these gardeners are helping to tackle climate change in the best way possible, one step at a time. My team and I have actually realised that a garden is more than it actually seems. Initially we thought it was just a bunch of old people that come and till the ground just for, because they've absolutely nothing to do. But we found out actually it meant a bit more than that. So we found out that it's a place that you can actually find a bit of sanity among the madness. Organic produce can be less energy intensive than other kinds of agriculture and so growing it this way can have significant benefits for the climate. Look, we've got a global responsibility here, we've got a responsibility to our kids and our grandkids and we've got a responsibility to this earth that supports us. So climate change is a really important issue for Queensland and for the country and for the world. I think um, government donations are uh, creating such an effect in this garden because we're all volunteers so there's no money for wages. We're all scroungers too. So we get, um, we recycle everything, we get, um, we get as much as we possibly can from around the community. It's all done um, freely. So we do a lot with the money that we get. And I have to say, the hard work of all those volunteers certainly did make the tomatoes taste better. And so how is this different for people, say, from going to the supermarket and just getting their vegetables to growing it themselves? Right, you actually see the process and you're able to tell the difference between the quality of foods that are in the market and that are here. Everything here is grown naturally and you actually see what crop of food is supposed to look like, smell like and taste like. And you actually get a connection and a respect of people who actually farm and produce um, food. The program is open to people of all ages, races and backgrounds and is gaining momentum in suburbs all around Brisbane. These gardens range in size from small collectives to 50 volunteer operations. There are also gardens popping up all over the place in schools or amongst neighbourhoods with the tasty outcome of fresh food produced using sustainable methods proving too good to refuse. Young people are becoming much more aware of doing things sustainably but they don't know how to do it so they come here, they may only come here for a short period of time and, um, and then start their own garden or start another garden. Uh, we're doing a program with the Green Corps which is uh, initiated by the federal government to get uh, the youth to actually work within community gardens. Look, I think young people, the, most of the young people that I speak to really want to see the old white politicians doing something about their future and all of the young people so far that I've spoken with have seen the need to act on climate change and they're really worried about what the world's going to be like when they're older and when they're having kids. So uh, I'm not hearing a lot of um, concern from young people about the negatives of acting on climate change. I'm hearing, I'm hearing um, the need to act on climate change. first underestimate everything but you realize that everything is intertwined. Um, in order for you to actually live well you need good food. In order for you to have good food you need good soil. In order for you to have good soil you need to actually maintain the soil. So everything is interlinked. In order for there to be good soil you need a, a healthy environment. If one dies everything sort of collapses. Community gardens like this one are a tangible way governments can educate and promote environmental awareness with just a small amount of money. After all, from little things, big things grow.